Heaven or hell, duel, duel, one, one. Let's rock.
Who dares to enter the name of my king soul black guy? Heaven or hell, duel, duel, one, one. Let's rock. Let's 
私の勝ちだソルもはや不本意は語るまいその先の力を引き出せないのは口をしめ Hello and welcome everyone to Juicy Game Night uh, Monthly. We're going to be hosting Exert Rev 2. Uh, this should be top three. So we're currently in, I believe it is Losers Finals. It is Losers Finals currently. Right. We're so. going to have King Jobber going up against Uriel right now. Yep. And we have Prince Jobber currently sitting in 
winner side grand finals. So Kai versus Slayer. Um, any character with a like delayed fireball, something that's out like a, longer than the standard amount of time, is going to do fairly well versus Slayer. Uh, anything that's going to kind of occupy that space of the backdash, like cancel time. Slayer generally wants to use that as his wake up option, so he can like not really have to deal with anything on the opponent's wake up. So Uriel's going to be looking to throw uh, really any kind of sun edge, any any kind of sun edge YRC to stifle that, so he can like enforce uh, wake up. Yeah. So charge sun edge, any sort of like obviously stun edge YRC, all of those are going to be very very useful in this matchup. Um, Kai has a lot of very simple flowchart mix-ups that allow him to blow up a variety of options as well. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. But obviously, even with a DP, Slayer doesn't typically care when he's running his offense. Pretty much. If he baits it too, he gets a pretty big payout for it. So Let's see how we start off with letting the intros run. Let's go. All right. Let's do a play each other. I don't, actually don't know how much... Probably not Team a Jobber lot, played Ariel. but I, I know that they have played in the past. So Tampa and are, Orlando is a pretty tight knit group. I imagine they play each other to some oh, degree. Absolutely. Okay, going into it. Ground start. Uriel immediately trying to apply offense, but King Jobber dashing right through. Getting the corner, baiting DP, getting the knockdown. And with these longer buttons comes longer recovery times as well, so Slayer's oh, dash through going to be really difficult or really risky for Kai to play neutral at times. Uriel currently running offense, getting Stun Dipper, getting knocked down. We're going to go with the delayed air dash. It's a wake up option. Oh, good. Dash again in the corner. The forward dash also is going to have some amount of iframes. He will disappear off the screen for a while. Jobber just clearing all the way through, but coast to coast goes Uriel on this engagement. Yep. Stun edge, that's going to force Jobber to sit there. They jump low, back another knockdown. Gets the hit. Still, oh. Yeah. And but to say still anyone's game, however, Uriel takes a trade. Going to be in the favor, closing out the round. Still very even, could go either player's way. Uh, oh. We are moving in and out of. We are moving in and out of the zone right now. Jesus Christ! Oh, and the charge CL. All right, H sub edge with a knockdown. Oh my God! Great what a OS slow right slash. There. Knockdown. Gonna do helter skelter. Yep. yep. We are swinging for the fences here, and it is working out in Uriel's favor. H stun edge. Oh, that did not get the enhanced version, but still worked out in his favor. Getting the set was the most important part there, so Uriel could get started on offense. Not going to kill, but follow pressure. Oh, did not want that back dash there. Barely stays alive. Oh, that's going to be it. Late air dash JS. Ooh, got the split CL just in time for the enhanced H stun edge. YRC not down. Sorry, I heard something that I fall down. Okay. All right, let's see how King Jobber adapts to this. Pretty strong showing from both players, to be honest, first game. Yeah. Going back to character select, uh, it is going to be three out of five. And if there's any character that I personally do not want to play three games against, it's Slayer. Yeah. Really easy character to get sacked against in a lot of spots, and the more he's able to adapt to you, the scary he is. Uh, I feel it's sort of similar for Kai, but you get more chances to play against that character, even with something as messed up as, like, you know, enhanced H stun edge knockdown uh, set up. Oh, 2 H starting out. Jesus. 6 B counter hit. That's going to be a ton. Oh, does not get the confirm. Versus stun differ of all things. Too. Oh, good catch on the burst there. Okay. King Jobber trying to do an offensive burst to keep his pressure after getting hit, but Uriel read it, and now we are moving to the left side of the screen in Uriel's favor on pressure. I like these max range folks coming out from Uriel. Opposite nice. jump to try and bet the dead angle, but no blocking was on the menu. It's worth mentioning, as it was seen on stream earlier, Luis and Uriel played each other. I'm sorry, Luis all caps and Uriel played each other. Yes. So. It's not like Uriel does not have a decent amount of experience with Slayer. That was a fantastic TP to blow up the opposite side, Helter Skelter. Not 
knocked down. Being knocked down. It opts to not take the stun edge knockdown, but go for just a safe jump instead. Great poke out immediately from Uriel, punishing the 2D. What do we thought was going to happen there? He backed out as soon as he got close. Patience coming out from both players. No one wanting to approach too heavily. King Jobber surprisingly not going in for dash as much as he was before. Seems to be kind of scared to do it now and just opts to play and just, just to, uh, opts to fight instead. Great right. counter hit conversion. Corner. Bends the meter. Down. Oh, black beat. Interesting. Goes for the OTG to try and set up a tech situation. Ends up getting the walk-up throw. Oh, yep, that is yeah. unfortunate. Game two goes to Uriel. Sit on a 100 meter there. I was wondering if Uriel was going to commit to using it at any point, but he's probably in King Jobber's best interest to try to play a little safe after that last knockdown, but really it was kind of do or die at that point. Right, and after not getting the OTG there, you want to play as safely as possible and just, like, let your opponent squirm. Um, okay, DP punish. Ops to first versus the 5D. I like that option. Don't take that damage. Counter hit on the map of hunch there. These immediate checks from Uriel in these situations are working out fantastic. Like using the standing low, really making Jobber second guess. Walk up. Jeez, how plus is 6H with Kai? That must be good forever. It is incredibly plus and fully cancelable. On both hits. Very neat. 2H knocked down. Uh, looking pretty good for King Jabba right now, but Uriel has not been out of this whenever he was near death at any point. He still is not. At 100 meter right now, he's got a lot of butter to work with. Great blitz into immediate 2D. King Jabba takes round one of game three. Excellent showing and good blitz back there. Both players sitting on very close to first. One international will give it to round them. Round start, Mappa. Hey, it's fast and it works. It does. IAD pressure back in. That poke out is going to convert for Uriel. High tech scenario. The most active 2D you've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty tough to argue otherwise. Oh, what a, what a series of stun edges there. Crazy. Uh, I like that back dash there to try to blow up any reversal option. Punish on the DP. First still on the table. Playing so much more patient at this time. I do like that King Jobber has been using, uh, what is it, Footloose Journey to try and move out of the corner in a lot of spots instead of jumping back in. Just hit the bricks. If you don't like it, just hit the bricks. Just leave the corner. It's that easy. With 25 meter, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Oh, right, stun block. edge. That should be it on this round. Yeah. Uriel takes round two of game three. It's important to exercise patience versus Kai because he will check a jump start up with Stun Dipper. Nice block, but no punish. Immediately checks Good the dash patience. through. Uriel waiting for the dash. All right, we're sitting pretty right now with the grinder in the corner. Oh, wow. Clash. That was a clash on the 5D there. Crazy. Okay. All right, Felus did not Felus. Helter Skelter. Oh, backdash, not able to do much for Uriel there. Was that 5H? I believe so. Oh, oh great backdash back for the 2K. All right, what we got? 6H, we got pressure. Oh, no, that is definitely not a spot you want to press on. We're working out for King Jobber, though. He's currently got life lead. Does not have great meter right now. Oh, not getting a conversion right there. Could be the end of it. Knocked down. YRC still on the table for Uriel right here. Great Good dead, dead angle. angle. Oh, he gets in. That's game three to King Jobber. Excellent work. And that was really well played by King Jobber, recognizing in that scenario that even if the YRC comes out, you can throw first. So unless Uriel was fully like ready to jump out of that situation, it just wasn't going to happen. Good 5P starting out here. Going to get the corner with this. Yeah, stays in front with the high. Pressure. I don't know about ending pressure with 2D too much. It seems like you just down back and you're never really going to get it. Well, 2H is a, for a variety of options, and the reward on it on counter hit is incredible. Wow. I had no idea what side that was going to be on. So I don't think Uriel, Uriel did either. He just kind of did it. I'm DPing. Okay. Right. Team Jobber looking like he's making a pretty strong comeback here. Round one of game four going to him. All of the momentum on the side of King Jobber. Oh, 6 H. Knocked down. As someone who fights Slayer enough, let me tell you, 6 H, pretty obnoxious button to deal with. 
it's hard. If you are not fully prepared to have your button ready, you have to block it. And blocking it almost feels worse at times. TD knockdown split CL. Oh. Good use of the dead angles here to get out of the corner in Uriel's pressure situation. I like the delay on that option from King Jobber, but still Uriel had the option on deck. Good air grab. That's not going to be dead yet, but setting up for Split CL in the corner. That'll be round two on game four to Uriel. That's Excellent work. the most major look setup with that delay in the air into standing low. Oh, That trade's going to be in Jobber's favor right there. If it doesn't find the anti-air on the tech situation. I think 2D anti-air is generally not the most favorable thing for Slayer. Not particularly. Okay. Uriel. Oh, good blitz. Catches the opposite side on that blitz. Counter hit for Uriel. Okay. Looking pretty good for King Jobber right now. He's sitting on 25 meter. Blood sucking universe. That's it. Game four. We are 2-2 currently going to the last game. Yeah. The, four, the FDC bite. A fantastic option from Jobber right there. Cl using it at the last possible moment to close it out. Game five. Uriel looking to try to play a little bit more carefully here. He's not trying to box too much with Slayer like he was before. Oh, hit on the 6 H first immediately. Got uh, YRC stun edge. Pretty good, I hear. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Projectile oh. YRC, pretty solid. Safe jump fake into low. Oh my god, these flashes on the 5Vs is like more than I've ever seen. Nice. Drifts through. Oh, no, confirm off of that interaction. I think he tried to air grab there and did not get it. Okay. With CL, this should, yep, chip out. You have to FD out in that situation if you're trying to survive. You just will get chipped. I think Jobber had enough meter to FD it, but it seemed like he might have actually gotten clipped by it by trying to jump, possibly. Hard to tell. Okay. Right, 2D knocked down in the corner, looking pretty good for Jobber this round. God, honestly, both of these rounds have been pretty sacky so far in either player's favor. Good dance. That five. That was actually two feet from Uriel to anti-air. Nice 2D. Active 2D. Delays as long as possible. And oh, the charge Lord. stun edge giving him the opportunity. We are making it happen with these charge stun edges. Jesus. Oh, oh great 6P. What a scary button to try and 6P to, and Uriel does it perfectly. Nice instant block. Oh, that's going to catch. Don't think this is enough to kill, but one oh, interaction. That. Mm, nope, not yet. Not yet. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, what a fantastic two, forward We're going dash to last control. round, last game. Let's go. I was really close, though. Uriel almost pulled it back. Oh, we got the counter hit round start. It is. We are going to town. Okay. Uriel making good progress immediately after, though. So, sitting Slayer on burst as well. Almost has burst. He will get it. Oh, my lord. Man, that conversion. chunk through his life. Yeah. The early confirms into whatever risk meter is oh, there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, catches the back dash. Might still be able to do it. Oh, grab. What a great that's throw on great. wake up. Good okay. angle. Stays in front. There's a uh, counter hit that he's looking for. It. Oh, Helter Skelter, he's still not dead yet. One interaction. Okay, first a safe point rather than a, a rewarding one. Oh, that's not dead yet. Not dead yet. What's the option? Oh, grab. Oh, immediately ready to throw that. Uh, you have to FD this out. Oh, oh, Uriel takes it. And the 2K, 2D clash cancel. Excellent game from both players. Really coming down to the Great wire there. Holy stuff crap. stuff from Uriel to make the adaptation after the adaptation right there. All right, our grand finals is going to be King Jobber's son, Prince Jobber, coming up in winner's side to play against Uriel. Yeah, so. Let's see if Uriel can pull six games against Prince. This is going to be a Raven and Kai matchup, so I'm actually very yes. interested to see how this goes, uh, especially because I've played Prince Jobber's Raven before. It is pretty tough. It's very tough, and if you do not have Raven experience, uh, you're probably up a creek. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> And uh, if you don't have Kevin experience, you're probably up a creek. Uh, uh, it's a lot of research in both sides. You have to be very good. Uh, and unless you are ready for the level of shenanigans that are about to come out from Prince Jobber, I wish you luck. I wouldn't want to be in that position. Please oh. don't ever put me in a situation. Don't ever put me in a situation. 
my solution is generally Volcanic Viper. It only works so much. It works a lot for me. I kind of make it happen, I'm not gonna lie. You know who works a lot against surprisingly well? Kevin. Mostly when he's on Raven. Yeah, I can see that. I can see Raven having a little bit of a difficult time like versus DPs. Especially Souls, because it's so fast. You know what he doesn't have a problem against? Bursting. Yeah. 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 Just hold back. Yeah. Literally it's, just it's hold back. It's already moving you're, forward. Just you, hold back. You should just use Burst for Burst Super in that against Kevin, really, in that in the Raven matchup. Well, Burst. Well, Burst, burst too, sure. Things. I don't know. I think even that is like scary to use against Kevin sometimes. This man feels like he's always trying to air grab you. All right, here we go. I think Kai actually has a pretty good set of like options versus Raven. I would between the, the like the way close slash works, uh, five P, six P, etc. <laughs> um, but you know, you really have to know exactly how these line up versus Raven, uh, and just somebody with a completely different play style than most in Prince Jobber. It's it's very hard to keep track of. Mm -hmm. So. This is a testament to exactly how good you are. Because they're from this game. Okay. All right, we get the knockdown, move right in. Oh, Air Dash and immediately out of the corner into JS. Okay, Grease Sever clipping the air action that Prince Jobber had. Oh, Needle hitting Uriel. That's actually going to slow down Kai quite a bit. But the early hit gets rid of it, too, and the IAD back in avoids the 6P. Bowling ball, 5P. Early oh, excellent stun edge wire. Oh, he guessed, I guess he thought burst was going to happen. I like the idea behind it, though. It's very measure is the word I would use for it. I'm not gonna lie, one of the cool parts about Kai is watching like the close to the ground JD stuff and he still pops up in the air. That stuff's tight. Oh lord, this is excerpt happening right now. Yeah. That should, okay, well I guess not. Rare moment where that didn't set up for a first bait automatically. I think Prince probably thought he just kind of had it there and didn't bother worrying about it. Surprised Uriel burst it at all, in all honesty. True. I guess he thought he could have made up the difference. It wasn't that much, but still not in a great spot. Yeah, and immediately trying to check after instant blocking the 2 H, the needle catches it up. We're in the corner situation. Good FD to push 5D out. Yeah, oh. Stun Edge really feels like it works pretty well against this character in a lot of spots. Okay, we're going to get the knockdown here. Bowling ball, that one's real. Air you grab, have to be yeah. Careful about your text versus this character. Oh, he did. <laughs> Armor through the DP, outside of the throw range, and then finding the punish immediately. Gonna I'll be honest, Raven's a pretty cool character. Stuff like that, though, sucks to deal with. Yeah, I mean, just don't DP then. I mean, yeah, he doesn't really do anything whenever he's in stance. He's kind of just sitting there getting, like, I guess, what is it, pleasure meter? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Excitement is what it was. Sorry. Excitement. Excitement. DPing with the bowling ball up, not the most. It's kind of kind of ill-advised, unfortunately. Really depends on the situation. From farther ranges, it's almost you just got to deal with it. Yeah. Right, so that's YRC getting the hit. Gonna go into knockdown here. I like that. Trying to scope out like a jump out or any sort of defensive option that would scramble. Quick JK after leaving the ground was actually a pretty good idea. Oh, yeah. is that two S or two H? So that is 2H. Okay. The armor to like do the freeze versus the Greed Sever really just sealed Uriel Spade. 2H going directly to the, that stun edge. Uriel not hit by a single of these 5Ds. Honestly, doing a really good job of never getting touched. I say as he de then oh, gets hit. his curse. Yeah, of course. 2H counter hit. Great immediate wake up 5K to challenge the empty low. Kai having one of the faster wake-up timings. Okay, that's uh, going to go through the fireball, but it's it not going to do much else. Yeah, it's going to... He's getting punished hard for this. He's not dead yet, but he's got one more knockdown set up. That's it. Yep. And at this point... It's 2-0. Prince Jobber 
knowing that Uriel is willing to DP in a lot of these situations is just keeping space and throwing out buttons to threaten. If yeah. If you DP, you get DP, but you're with him. Unfortunate thing about playing against Prince is he learns pretty quickly your habits. Uh, and one of the easiest ways he has to figure them out is by just kind of letting you kill yourself in spots where he's not anywhere near you. Exactly. So it's something you need to learn pretty quickly. You just have to be willing to block, and then he will start trying to approach you more. Scratch into knockdown. Great back dash on the reel right there, avoiding any of the options that would have followed. Oh, Lord. That... Oh! That feels bad. I felt that from here, dude. That's one of those moments where you like, I made a big mistake. You want to see me make another one? And bursting Raven from that distance. Very unfortunate. Oh, oh. missed the command grab. Uriel gets a chance. Look at the knockdown here. Going to set up for H stun edge. I like the way Uriel played around that blitz specifically. Nice, play. nice, good work. Jacking up the wrist gauge currently. One thing about Raven that makes him not the worst to deal with is that his health pool isn't that crazy. And his stun is very low. So if you do manage to score counter hits versus this character, you are very likely to stun him. Mm -hmm. Once you get the ball rolling against him, it's actually not the worst trying to get rid of him. Wow, what a back dash from Muriel right there. Able to find it. Grab. We gotta set up for IRC. Nice! That was tight, actually. Spend the 25 meter to get that left-right. Real ambiguous. Really good stuff there from Muriel. Gets around on the board. Not dead yet. Can probably put at least get a game uh, against Prince Jobber. An immediate mash check from Prince Jobber right there. Oh, JD's, dude. That's JS. Is that JS? Yes. Oh, never mind then. I'll take it back. Oh, that's unfortunate. He knows he's the not, timing. He's, he's just threatening the animations. He's not down yet. Okay, good stun edge, actually. Get out of the corner. 6P. 6P through the ball. 6P through the ball. Knocked down. This is exactly what Uriel needs to get started. Oh, grab on landing. How unfortunate. Try to look out. Oh, that's it, I think. Yeah. First, and you text Prince Jobber takes grand finals, wins the exert bracket. Congratulations on first.